Hi. So I'm going to start off with a quick story a friend told me about him being really awesome at this uh, video game. And he spent the whole day um, killing everybody. And um, at the end of the day, he found himself alone um, in this wor online world and realized that maybe that, that wasn't so much fun. And that it was the lesson that he learned was that it was better to play with people and be part of a team than just showing how amazingly awesome he was. And this kind of inspired my talk today, um, an experience that I had last year, um, where I uh, did this course on to how to become a Scrum Master. And um, it's not really, you don't need to know what Scrum is to understand this um, talk, but it's a, a framework for improving the, pe the way people do their work. And I kind of thought, came out of this thinking I was the Lord of the universe. Um, I work at a web design agency and it all started when I was working on one of my first projects with um, designers and developers. And I'd been a designer and I'd done some coding, so I thought, hey, I'm, I'm one of you guys, I'm, I'm part of the team. But they didn't see me like that at all, they saw me as this like evil project manager trying to be cool. And um, yeah, that didn't go down so well. And I was like, why don't they like me in the same way? They don't talk with me the same as they do with each other. And I, I couldn't understand it and they, they were getting frustrated with me, but I'm like, I'm trying to help. But that came across as micromanaging. And so I started like trying to talk to them and understand what I could do to improve things. And they told me about this thing called Scrum. So I went and looked it up and it's this framework. And I was like, hey, this looks kind of interesting. And it looked like it might help. So off I went and did this course and became Scrum Master. Um, partly so I could tell everyone I was master of the universe. Um, and it was amazing. It was like the solution to every single problem that I had. I was just like, yes, now I know what to do. And I came out with like an incredibly ridiculous level of feeling of awesomeness. And I was just like, it was like I'd seen the light. It was like a huge revolutionary experience for me. And so I, I walked around the office telling everybody scrum this and scrum that and like people would be on the other side of the office discussing something and I'd be like, I know how to solve this problem, will you scrum? And like it was just to me the answer to everything. And I started to notice that people were like rolling their eyes and, and I was like, but I don't, you know, this is just, the, it's the answer. So everything was like to me scrum or not scrum. And I realized I had kind of a bit of a problem when it started to um, filter into my personal life. And one day I got home and there was a big massive pile of washing up. And I was like, this just won't do. I'm gonna have to scrum master the washing up. <laughs> Leaving post-it notes for my housemates. These are actual post notes and they just must've thought I was crazy. So off I was like going on and on about this framework to pe everyone that would listen. And I couldn't understand why everyone wasn't just doing what I said. They were, I was just like, why can't they understand this is just the way to do things? And then a friend said, well, you know, like how many projects have you actually done with this after you've done this two days of training? And I was like, uh, yeah, actually I haven't really done any. So, and he was like, well, you know, Maybe you should like actually show people how great this is by doing a like applying it to some projects. And I was like, oh yeah, that's actually quite a good idea. So um, <laughs> off I went and like, you know, of course I learned some things didn't work quite how I thought they might. And um, I also realized that rather than going blah, 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 um, like to shut the fuck up and listen to people because, you know, they know stuff as well. And then I started having better discussions with people and people were interested in listening to what I had to say. And it, and it was great, things were working better. And then people started actually coming up to me and asking me how to do stuff. And I was like, yay, they like me. And like things started to just work a lot better. And I, I was really happy and, thing, and it was what I wanted to do in the first place, which was to work better with people. So. After an initial ridiculous level of awesomeness and a bit of a come down um, when things didn't go my way, I started to feel really good and, and things were like doing what I wanted to do, which was to work better with people. And so the lesson that I learned was to be less of a superhero show off like Iron Man and be a bit more, you know, like Spider-Man, a bit more secretive, use my superhero amazing powers only when people ask or when they're really needed. 
And the, the real lesson at the end of the day is it's about working with people. And processes are great and having good foundations is fantastic, but it's actually people who do the work. And if you annoy all the people around you, they're not going to be happy working with you. <laughs> so don't do that. Um, so my last final point is to you know listen to people, use your superhero powers only when needed, and then everyone can feel a little bit awesome. Woo!